Should you pre-order Outriders? Well, that is the question I ask myself. Outrider is a PvE only game and I can't imagine there ever being a PvP mode with all these crazy abilities the game has to offer. As far as the demo goes, I really did enjoy it. It was super fun to experience new ability and to discover new weapons and of course playing with friends. I was sort of disappointed to discover us only being limited to having three in a team instead of four. Party is full. No is way. Three people. Oh, I thought it was on. supposed to be like five. Uh, they need to change that ASAP, man. I, I thought you were supposed to be one of each class. But at least four, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is four classes. Yeah, it should be at least four players per team. Oh man. I wanted to pre-order the game, but not until I saw the price tag. Don't get me wrong, the game is super fun, but for how long? Wingardian Leviosa! I know for a fact I would get bored after a week of playing this game, not because it is only limited to PvE only, but because the game itself has a limit. For the price tag I was expecting more, and the fact that we are in 2021 and these are the games that are offered to us for a high price, I am a little disappointed. I wasn't the only one as most people don't see this being a long term game they can play. Some was disappointed with there being no PvP no open world and it being really clunky some even said that it feels like a watered down version of destiny 2. it was a demo after all and not the full game i do think people have already made their minds about this game if the price was cheaper and i'm able to play with four people i would probably buy the full game even knowing i'd only play it for a week or two will they change all the problems they have they have set the price tag super high on this one especially playing on a pc i was getting constant frame drops to 30 I was also crashing while selling some stuff and on top of all of that I did encounter a bug which I didn't show in my previous video. The game is due to be released in 6 weeks and trying to optimize the game to get solid FPS and fixing some of the issues I encountered is a long reach. I will give major respects to the development team for allowing us to try the game before buying it. Cyberpunk was one of those high price tag games I bought and I only played it for 4 days. I don't know what happened to gaming nowadays. They used to be a lot of fun and gaming companies don't really charge an insane amount for us to buy them. Off topic here, I also remember those times when I bought a game and I had to play it to unlock certain things but nowadays you have to pay for everything and some games are pay to win. Free games are sort of different though, they need to make their money somehow so they offer skins like Fortnite for example. But anyway for the price tag and how the game runs I decided not to buy this game, I guess when it comes out I'll wait for the reviews about it whether they increase the FPS, make it more enjoyable to play and play with more friends and so on. I appreciate all the comment guys and I'll see you on the next one. Well you didn't kill me dude. Nah me too. He's still somewhere. Stop shouting, idiot, man. Dude, that guy was huge, though, man. Yeah. <laughs>